Hi guys, it's Sarah from I Swear I'm Stitching. Today is September 28th, 2023. This is episode 70. I got a new iPad for my birthday, which was a couple days ago. And so I'm trying to use it for recording and I'm not like, it feels so big. Like, it's like I'm not, well, I keep looking that way. <laughs> it feels so big. I feel like I'm not framed right. And I keep looking in the wrong spot. I don't know. Bear with me. So this is a floss tube where I talk about cross stitch, which is my main hobby. I also knit and quilt. There is none of that to show. I'm gonna try to zip through this because I have to get going to Dayton, pick my kid up from college. It is 9.30 in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> I had to rush a bunch of chores. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. If you are new and old and everything in between. My brain is not working. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> okay, so, all right. I've got some stuff to show you. Okay. First off, I have an FFO. No, I don't have an FFO. I have an FO. So I finished my September small from last week, which was Longest name in the world, Tales from the Sea, Fragments in Time, number one, 2021. Should be called Whale Tale. By Summerhouse Stitchworks. It's on 32 Count Linen by Fangirl Fibers, unnamed. It's like a bluey neutral. And I just used DMC and Classic Colorworks, two over two. And I love it. It's so stinking cute. Oh, and I used my Stitch Me. That's right. The last minute I had the DMC for this ready color this rusty color and i didn't like it so i just got my fancy floss box and found a red rusty color i liked and it happened to be but stitch me silk and then the classic color works is the whale tail an outline and a very light blue which you can't even tell is light blue in there the rest is dmc and i'll turn this into a tiny little pillow and i have plenty for another small if i had thought it through, I'd have this up higher and I'd have, an, I could fit like a quick quirky Quaker there, but oh well, it's just crappy fabric that is not my favorite anyways. But I think on here I can fit that quirky Quaker, and it's not a quirky Quaker, that Darling and Whimsy Mermaid I got from my friend last week, I could fit that on there. But anyways, yay, I will do. So, hair in my mouth. Here in my mouth. Okay, I have so much stuff on my table from getting ready to go that I don't know where to put stuff. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> my whips. Um, I worked on my Nefertiri hat. It was dog fur. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for my birthday. But man, I did not get a lot of her done. So I didn't even bother bringing her over. But she's a hate and she looks like that. God, isn't she pretty? Like I said, I didn't bother bringing her over because I didn't do a lot on her, but I'm currently working on this section up here. <sighs> I gotta get a, like a neck light or something because I tried working on her and I have a lot of the black done. So there's a lot of confetti stitches that need to be done. And it's so hard for my eyes to see it that I was kind of guessing I where to put some of the stitches because they were dark brown in amongst the black. And it was just, hard for my eyes to to differentiate where I needed to put what because it's tent stitch and my eyes were looking for full crosses so I have to work on her more for a solid chunk of time and adjust to just tent stitch again but anyways I also worked on my monster wonder whale from from Alice Forest Embroidery I don't know if I'll always use my iPad I'm just testing this out you guys So I'll use the call for fabric that came in the kit, which is a 32 count um, linen. And there I used the thread that came in the kit. <sighs> I love it so much. I'm so addicted to stitching and I want it done so bad. Look, like, okay, if you look, I don't have a lot left to do. So let's see, I've got the bottom water. I have one more ship, a couple fishies. And I have basically 
the little bit of his of this stuff here and then his head and I'm currently working on that this plant thing on top of his head so really I don't have a lot left to go and when he's done I can whip out my dinosaur kit and then I only have one other kit left in my kit drawer that I wanted to do this year I want to get my kit all, at least all started for my kit drawer this year side rant I guess technically they won't all be started because three of them will be started next year on the seasons but they are in project bags ready to go so I count that as my kit drawer is almost cleaned out you guys anyways There it is. Still think this part right here is my favorite part. Those oranges and the greens. And I really, really like how the blue plant turned out. And the trees up here. But I really like, I wish there was another big blue motif because you can see the pretty variegation in the water, but it's just straight across. So it's not as obvious. So when you put it in a plant like that, the stitch, the large chunks of stitches, See how pretty the variegated it is. Oh, I love it so much. I love the Monster Wonder Wheel. And yeah, as you can see, if you get an Al Forest embroidery kit, they cut you the like minimum fabric you're gonna need. So it's kind of small. So even before I start my dino one, when I get that one out to start, I'll probably sew some fabric on all four sides. Just so I don't have to do it later like I did with this. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait to work on it some more when I get home later this weekend and then do I not have my bag for my monster window well I don't I don't want to get them dirty oh, okay and then I worked on is that my bag that's my found my, my wheel bag sorry guys all right nice and then I worked on Halloween on Hawk Run Hollow. We all know what that's gonna look like. Probably don't even have to bother showing it to you. I'm not sure I have a picture of the finished one on my phone because everything is usually on my iPad. I do not. Okay, so I don't have a picture for you guys, I'm sorry. But this is Halloween on Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Sampling. It's on 18 count Ada to dye for fabrics in ash and tan, one over one. I'm currently working on the block that has the train coming out of the tunnel. And I did a fair amount. I finished all the little like rocky stone parts. So I just have to do the fill in like mortar, uh, put the train in and the ghosties. I think that's it. Ghosties, Frazier, Kowalski and Jacob. Come on, Stargate fans, you know it. You know what I'm talking about. Because ghosts are dead. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, so there, of course, then the black outline. And after I finish this block, I'll have my husband pick another number for me and start the next block. Because while I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying them, I'm going to keep on going. And I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. I may not let him pick. I may just jump up here and work on my scarecrow one. I kind of like my husband picking. I kind of like not having to make decisions. And this is just all the call for DMC. As you can tell, I don't like the fill in there. So I keep putting, I like putting that off for last. Yep. I love that project so much. I don't know where I'm putting all my bags at. Where I put that bag at? And then that's it. That's all my whips. I did spin for this week's small, and it is Wave by Trina Mastakova, Fireplace Hobby off of Etsy. And I'm working that on 32 count Lugana and Sandbar. I just literally put a few stitches in it before I started this so I could. Take it with me even though I know I'm not gonna work on it this weekend or on that uh right date with my daughter I know I'm not gonna work on it but you know I'm a crafter I'm bringing it in anyways but it's 32 count Lugana and Sandbar from Bestitch Me and I'm just using the DMC um 
Yeah, DMC it calls for one anchor, but I just switched that for a DMC. That I actually don't have, and we'll have to get Lego to Dayton. At probably like I'll put that on Michael. But anyway, literally one line of white. <laughs> That's the very tip of the wave over here. This is my small for this week. I've been really lucky and able to finish these smalls in a week. But I don't know about this one, you guys. It looks like I'm. What's this dish count? That's only 69 by 64. Oh, it looks bigger to me. We'll see. Bye. What was fragments in time? It's 51 by 51, and that one took me quite a few days. Of course, I ran out of a color and I had to wait to get the rest of the yellow. But anyways, there we go. This is this week's uh, small, and then which actually works out really, really great because next Friday it was only like the last two days of the month. And my small is the last one I have, which is the Quirky Quaker Pig. And I can finish a Quirky Quaker in like a day. And then I'm ready to start my um, Halloween theme projects starting on the first. What's the first? Like Sunday? Yeah, so then every Sunday, one, two, three, four, five, for October, I'll start a new small. So that brings me to my polls. I did a poll on instagram and of course the poll down in the description and by a landslide which is one so i wish i could head somewhere to prop her something to prop her on so she could be in the video <laughs> the whole time just like floating in the corner which is one so I'm going to, I put all my witch, I don't have all my witch patterns with me because I gave my um, bonus child a folder and I told her to go through my patterns and to pick out whatever she wanted to put in her folder because I have so many God knows when I get to them so that she could stitch those before me if she wanted. So she is coming back this weekend as well from her college. So she's going to bring my witchy pattern, all the ones that are witches, that have witches on them. And then I have witch related patterns I didn't put on the list, like uh, things that just say witch on them or have a cauldron. I was putting that in general. This actually has witches in them, these patterns. But anyways, look, there's like 20 patterns. So I'm gonna draw five, because I'm starting one every, whatever. And then I didn't put a pen down here. I don't want to stand up. I'm lazy. Ugh, I don't want to stand up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick five. And then I will pick a five again because um, the reason I'm picking now, a week before starting the stitches, is so I have time to kit them up. I want to make sure I have the fabric. I don't have to buy anything. So I'll make sure I have fabric for the patterns. So I'm going to do five, and those are my five. Those are the ones I'm going to do. If I don't have the fabric, then I'll have, I can choose from the five backup. I know for certain I will be doing uh, Baba Yaga by Autumn Lane Stitchery because that is my last kit in my drawer, kit drawer. So she's got to be worked on. She's got to be started. Okay, so the other four. I gotta get a pen. Mm, I'll be right back. I almost said I'm better than this, but I'm usually better than this, but you guys know I'm not. Okay, so I also don't have the pictures to show you again because I didn't drag my patterns over here because I didn't have a chunk of them. But, so I've got Baba Yaga by Autumn Lane Stitchery, and then now I have Pumpkin Witch from Foxglove and Crow. I believe that's in the um, Seasons of the Witch booklet I got from Starlight Stitchery last year, so my kid, bonus kid, will have to bring that, she's bringing that booklet down. And then, Hollow, Lila's, Lila's, Halloween Quaker. Oh, I love that one so much. Well, these are all, I think, I'm trying to remember what Halloween Witch looked like. Halloween Witch looked like Halloween Witch. I can't remember. But uh, Bobby Yaga and Halloween Quaker are pretty big. Mini Sam Aim by The Witchy Stitcher. That one, 
doesn't technically have a witch in it. It's a pumpkin with a witch's hat, but I wanted to have at least one witchy stitcher pattern on my list. And I drew her, so nice. Okay, and then... Come on. <laughs> it hit Baba Yaga Honolulu Stitchery, which is what I already wrote down. Okay, let's try again. Doop, 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 doop. Sea Witch by the Primitive Hair. Okay, so those are the five I would definitely be doing if I have the fabric for them. Baba Yaga is up for sure because that's a kit. Mini Samhain is basically a small, so I know I can't have fabric for that one. Halloween Quaker. I think I have fabric for that. Anyways. So my five backups that I can choose from if I don't have the fabric for those are going to be Witches and Demons Woodcut by Night Spirit Studio and then Hocus Pocus by uh, Prairie Schooler and then I can't read, I'm not going to be able to read my own writing. Amanita Witch by Mama Cross Stitch. That's from the um, Seasons of the Witch booklet. This also by the, wow. Uh, uh, in that booklet, how do you say that? It's from Bad Stitch. Heck it. Heck it. No, I knew how to say it yesterday when I was putting it in. That one. Hecate? Hecata? Hecata. Hecata. Hecata? I've said it so many times, it doesn't, it's not a word anymore. Alright, and then the last one will be Halloween Revelry from the Primitive Needle. Alright. So, for sure, Baba Yaga. And then also hoping for sure, Pumpkin Witch, Halloween Quaker, Mini Samhain, and uh, Sea Witch. And then my backups, in case I don't have the fabrics for those, are Witches and Demons Woodcut, Hocus Pocus, Amanita, Hecata, and Halloween Revelry. All right. Okay. I'm excited. And then I'll put those, um, once I get them kitted this week, I will put them in another tiny decision wheel and then draw on Sunday. Actually, you know, I wouldn't bother drawing. I think I will. I'll draw on the Friday that I see you guys since I'll be starting this on Sunday. I will spin my wheel and see which one of those five I'll be doing. So, okay. <sighs> All right. And then there has been a slight change and I didn't bring it. So, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll talk about it, but I guess I won't show it. So, I was talking to Julie from Kansas City Girl in Colorado World. And she was showing me some beautiful... Uh, project a pro beautiful project of at the Met done on like a ready color and we decided that we we're gonna do her on red and I had a red fabric like perfect red fabric so she's going to join me um, on the winter solstice and starting the Met and we're both gonna do it on red fabric I will show you that next week because I did not bring that over here so I mean the blue was gonna be really gorgeous and I was looking forward to it but the red is going to be fun. It's going to be different. It's, I need someone to push me outside my comfort zone a little bit with fabric colors. Because I have all these pretty fabric colors I don't use. So uh, I'm th thankful for Julie for bringing that to my attention. And when I talk about it again next week, I'll write down the woman who's um, the Met is our inspiration. Because hers is gorgeous. What else? Stitches. Next year. So next year... I decided to do my own styles because I have these big ass patterns just sitting around waiting to be used, waiting to be done. And I kind of missed doing a style this year. So I'm going to do the Supernatural Stitch Along from Witchy Stitcher. Oh my God, I knew that. Okay. We all know what it looks like. I don't have a finished picture of it. And I'm going to do it on, sorry for the crinkling, 
32 count after the harvest linen from the stitch me that's what my supernatural is going to go on <gasps> so pretty oh so pretty and because i couldn't decide which one to do i'm also going to do the cryptids <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try the to at the end of this year to work on the borders, but for cryptid I couldn't decide which fabric to use. I don't care about matching the. It'll be the same size. It's gonna both be on 32 count, but I didn't care about matching fabric type, linen, lagana. I didn't care to match uh, colors, like I said. This is going to be supernatural. And then for cryptid, I'm either going to use pink chocolate, 32 count Lugana, which is definitely more mauvey than is showing up, or 32 count linen Stonehenge, Stonehenge by Prestige Me. I just wonder if that's going to be too dark. And then doing it doing the cryptids on a fun like mauvey color might be nice i haven't decided again this is supernatural supernatural encrypted or supernatural encrypted it's cryptid it's, everything's mainly black cryptid has some white cryptid has some white I don't have to. Uh, anyways, so what are your guys' opinion? What do you think? Those who know what uh, the cryptid style looks like, because I didn't bring a picture, because that's, <laughs> that's how I am. <sighs> Stonehenge or pink chocolate? I'm leaning towards pink chocolate right now, because it's different and I like it. But Stonehenge would be like more traditional, dark, cryptid color. And if I'm going for matching, which I'm not, it would kind of go better with after the harvest. But again, I'm not, I don't care to match it. Pink chocolate. Oh, you know what? As of right now, my gut is telling me pink chocolate. But you guys tell me what you think. Because I'm interested. If you all, all have great opinions and great taste and your fellow stickers... I'd like to hear from you. So those are my saddles for next year. Like I said, I'm going to hopefully end of this year work on the borders because that's going to be a slog. The outline, the frame. What else? <laughs> so like I said, it was my birthday a few days ago and I got a birthday card from Lynn. Lynn X Stitch Creates. It's Snoopy, of course. If you know Lynn, you know she loves her some Snoopy. Well, it's Woodstock, but you know. Peanuts. And she sent me some gorgeous, gorgeous threads. Live and Die LA, hand-dyed embroidered floss mermaid. And Taste the Rainbow. Aren't those fun? I love this one. I want to... I love that one. I definitely kind of want to do a mermaid, like... The Little Mermaid, small. Thank you, Lynn. That's my only haul. <laughs> and then I drew the winner for the gauge and thread, and it is Stitches and Books Alley. Thank you for commenting, Alley. If you haven't left your address in the Happy Mail form in the description, then Excuse me, you can uh, send it to me at my email at uh, I swear I am stitching at gmail.com or you can message me on Instagram at eat my oxygen. Let me get messages. And this week, for the small giveaway, don't be 18. I cannot afford to be a creeper. Um, live anywhere in the world, I don't care. This is small. Next week, you'll probably have to be in the US. Sorry. But, um, Anywhere in the U.S., this is just a fun little gift. 
So if it gets lost in the mail, sorry. Um, don't say give away, don't say free, all those naughty words. But since I just finished this and it's small, I thought I would give away that one, the whale tail. Tales from the Sea Fragments in Time 2021, number one. I thought it was fun and it's super cute. And um, I don't know if you can use it in the pattern or not if you want, but I'm also including some Bestitch Me Silk. That is in, is that Reef? I want to say that's Reef. No, I lied, it's Shoreline. <laughs> It's shoreline. But there we go. Say the word whale. So say the word whale and you'll be put in the um, running for this giveaway. Nice and small. Fun stitch. I think that's it. Nope. I lied. I have to do the floss tubers I'm, I, I've been watching. I have of floss tubes I watched. I have two more lists and I just randomly grab them so they're not in alphabetical order. And again, I'm not going to go over why I watch them because I watch them all for different reasons. There's something about all these that keeps me coming back. So there's Michaela at Cinematic Stitches and that is spelled with a three instead of an E. Michelle at Cozy Egg. Lee at Creative Lee. Jamie at Cross Stitch and Chill. Gracie at Cross Stitch Therapy with Gracie, Emily at Emily C, Samantha at Huga Stitcher, Janet from Janet Jabber, Kayla from Kayla Gray Stitches, Kaylee from Kaylee Tent Stitch, Deborah from Kensington Cross Stitch, Laura from La La D Stitches, Lynn and sometimes Ashley from Linux Stitch Creates, and Debbie from Mama Bear Stitchery. So those are more regulars I watch on the regular. <laughs> You get it. You know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say there. Whew, okay. Oh, I gotta get going. So, next week, I will start my Quirky Quaker Pig, and I will spin for my first Halloween start on the first, or October th th start. October witchy start. Ah, my brain. Oh, what else? I had a good birthday. Thanks for everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I'm now 43, and it was on my first birthday, maybe ever, in the last 19 years. So I didn't have kids with me, so that was weird. Not sad or anything, just weird. I don't think I've spent a birthday without them before. I don't know. Um, my husband had jury duty that day, and it ended at like 10.30, so... He didn't go to work, and we just kind of, we watched uh, Gardens of the Galaxy, we hung out, we went out to uh, Quiznos, I got Dunkin' Donuts instead of cake, you know, just a nice relaxing week, day. And then I'm now getting ready to head to Dayton to get my kid, it's family weekend, so she wanted me to come spend today doing family weekend stuff, and then I have to bring her and her roommate home tomorrow for my town's stupid little pumpkin festival. And then I'm making their brother, my, her brother, take them back Sunday because I'm not driving back to Dayton. I'm not doing it. But, um, yeah, that's it. I thank you guys. I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you, but I don't know what it is. So I guess I'm just going to call this Dunzos. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Sorry I've sped through it. Um, hope you come back again. Uh, find out next week what which project, which, which project I'm going to stitch on. Um, and I will see you guys then. Bye.